Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your daily news update from your Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. We had in gold a break of a technical uptrend last week before the day before Thanksgiving in the United States on Wednesday. They broke the major resist or support line at 1,199 US dollars, which means that actually the the, the uptrend from a doubt theory perspective since December of 2015 is interrupted. There is no new downtrend. For a new downtrend, gold has to go back up and then make lower lows up from that um, uh, rising price uh, uh, channel. But for now, there's an interruption of this clear and uh, healthy uptrend. Um, the reason for that, a reason for weakness in gold, is of course the strong US dollar. Markets clearly expect that the Federal Reserve will hike rates in December, and that has um, increased the um, yeah all the speculation going towards that uh, Fed meeting. Uh, rising rates are one of the reactions the markets are showing. U.S. Treasury notes are at 2.4% yield for the 10-year horizon for 10-year duration. So that is a big jump in rates. And if you look at that from a contradictive cycle perspective, then this might mean that one or two years ago, or might be three years ago, I think it was um, 2013 or 2014, was the low in rates for the next 30 years in the United States. That doesn't have to, um, or doesn't have, or doesn't necessarily have to do with Trump. Trump is just the trigger, is just uh, one of the reasons why markets are quickly um, waking up to the probability that there might be an increase in inflation coming next year, in the United States at least. So if you imagine, and that is the um, bullish, backdoor for, ba bullish backdoor for gold investors, if you imagine that there will be 3.5% inflation next year in the United States, then there are two options for the investor who is in gold right now or thinks about going long or short in gold. If the inflation in the United States goes to 3.5%, there are two options. The first option is that, or for the Federal Reserve, the first option is to hike rates to stem that inflation rise, or second option is to tolerate a temporary overshooting of the inflation target of 2%, or even thinking about lifting the inflation target. So why do they think about actually raising the inflation target because there might be a situation where inflation is rising stronger then they are able to hike rates because they cannot hike rates endlessly when the rest of the world like the ECB, the Bank of Japan are staying put with their um, zero interest rate policy. The ECB will take years to come out of zero interest rate uh, policy and uh, quantitative easing measures will take a long time to be tapered down in the Eurozone because just the inflation targets are not reached, the economy is too weak in, Euro, in the Eurozone. So were the Federal Reserve to hike rates to 3.5%, that would definitely uh, weaken the economy or cause a recession and it would cause a very much stronger US dollar. And that is something the Federal Reserve has no room to maneuver uh, strongly towards hiking rates in an environment where the inflation goes up. So probabilities are relatively high that there might be a situation coming in the next year where inflation is going up stronger than the nominal rates. That means that the real rates, the real yield might be going lower or might even go negative. And that is a bullish backdrop for everyone who is dissatisfied with the current um, technical um, developments in the price of gold.